Well guys, this is another attempt to try to get corn to grow into my garden. Now I know most people probably would have given up already. And I probably would have if they hadn't given up. So these are three corn that, as you can see by the beginning stages there, we had birds eating it. When I was trying to harden it off, um, they got eaten at but I brought it indoors, put it under the grow light, and it's grown. I also have another corn in the garden that has also done the same thing. It's gotten a lot further along, so I thought I will put it in the ground along with this corn. And there is another corn right here that, I mean, it's not doing so well, but it's not completely dead <laughs> and I'm gonna try growing it in this area as you see the squashes have taken over the other part but there's this one little area and once this grows up it's okay if the squash is over here um, so I'm hoping that this will be somewhat successful and then I'm just going to heavy mulch it and we'll see how that goes I am curious to see how the roots look in here. Look at those roots, looking pretty good. All four of them in here. I've got some liquid fertilizer and I'm going to give each one of them to get a head start on this. So I came back and heavily mulched the area and I'm just hoping that this will be successful. And I know you're wondering, how can you only do four corn? But uh, this will have to be a self-pollinated um, project here. I'll have to take the pollen off the top of the corns and uh, actually add the pollen, self-pollinate all the corn husks. So this will be a project, but I'm hoping to get some corn. <laughs> hey guys, I forgot to mention this. I actually forgot all about this. Um, it's been since I actually transplanted the, um, the corn. One of the corns was knocked over and no real roots were actually showing. But I thought I would try and see if I can put it in water to see if I could get roots to grow. And it grew quite a bit actually and look at those roots that came from where it was split out. So I'm hoping to put this in the ground and see how much growth I can get out of this corn. I feel like I'm gonna have to be very careful when transplanting it into the ground because it's got bare root, but uh, I can't believe how much roots is there. And this is just from a trial. 
this was the original leaves like they were tiny little leaves this one here and it was all split like that from being chewed on and it's looking so good so i'm going to put this in the ground and just see how it goes so come with me and see and i've got to grab my gloves much air in there either. So you have to push down to make sure you're getting rid of the air, but you don't want to push down too much that you're burning the roots. You don't want to compress it. Here we are, five corn in my corn patch. <laughs> this may seem like dedication, and sometimes I feel if you want something to grow in your garden, you just have to not give up. And I will see if it's successful. How will I know if I don't try? So this is me trying. Um, Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this uh, video as well. I know it seems a lot for corn, but I just want to try it. I just want to see what works, what's successful. And there is some things I know I can learn from. And uh, hopefully you get to see results from this. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're not subscribed but you want to follow along on my crazy journey in this garden, uh, just click that subscribe button. And thanks for coming along with me today, guys. Thanks for coming into my garden and enjoying my garden for 2022. Until next time, take care. Two weeks later, and my corn, all five of them, are still doing alive and well.